What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back. Looking at the 2003 Honda Accord again. Today we're going to be working on the vibration issue these things typically have, okay? As far as uh, when you have the air conditioner on and you go to put this guy into drive, you end up with this vibration. I don't know if you can hear that noise. I hope Hopefully you can. But you can feel the motor vibrating. You can feel it in the steering wheel. You can feel it in the seats. You can feel it everywhere, okay? So this car has 135,000 miles. And the way you fix it is, uh, there's actually a TSB on it from Honda on what to do to fix it. They actually want you to buy a, what's it called, what is it called, an idle smoothing kit or vibration smoothing kit or something like that. And basically it's some weights that go on the front bumper and go on the radiator support, okay? I don't have those today. But the other part of the TSB is to go ahead and replace the front motor mount, okay? And what Honda says is, is that you have to use a Honda motor mount. You can't use any of the aftermarket stuff because you'll just end up with the vibration. Now this car I don't think has ever had motor mounts, okay? So, got me a revised Honda motor mount. The motor mount is revised, supposedly, okay? And this is a vacuum controlled motor mount, which means that depending on the vacuum, it changes the feeling of the motor mounts in the car. So I think when you put it in drive and turn the AC on, it changes vacuum and you end up with this vibration. Can you hear it? It's pretty good. It's pretty bad. It's actually not that bad. I have the car on jack stands right now. It's actually not that bad when it's on jack stands. It's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, you can definitely feel like turning the AC off. It kind of goes down a little bit, put it in park, it goes away. The TSB also says you need to look at all the exhaust hangers, okay? And make sure they haven't rotted away. That's part of it. And the TSB says that what can help is if you reset the engine and transmission in the engine bay by loosening up all the bolts, okay, that on the motor mounts. And then starting the car up, getting in here, putting it in drive, reverse, drive, reverse, drive, reverse. Don't drive off, but you're sitting here with your foot on the brake. And basically what it what it's gonna do is it's gonna reposition the motor and transmission in a better way. It's gonna settle it down. And then you put it in park and then you tighten everything down. It's supposed to help out with the vibration. All right, so Honda factory parts. Look, check it out, Honda part numbers. Here's the mount. Supposedly it's gonna fix some of this vibration. It's actually not a very hard install. Down here at the bottom is where the vacuum line actually plugs in. But this is the uh, $180 motor mount right here. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna get a jack, okay, like this, put a block of wood, put it underneath the oil pan, jack it up a little bit, take some of the weight off that motor mount before we start taking any of these bolts out. All right. So we're looking at two 17 millimeter nuts. There's one here, there's one right here. Okay, now down at the bottom, we're looking at four 14 millimeter bolts. Back there at the bottom, they connect to the subframe, one back there, one right here, one right there, one right there. And then you're gonna have to remove this guy right here. Okay, and we'll jack the engine up a little bit and we'll fight this guy out. All right, to actually get the motor mount out of here, Cooling bottle's gotta go, and you're gonna have to remove the electric fan. All right, time to make a mess. I'm just gonna try to minimize the mess with the hose clamp pliers. Can't get the fan out. I don't wanna fight with it. I'm just gonna make a big coolant mess everywhere. <laughs> okay. My favorite. It's really green too, cool. You know what, I should probably go get a pan. Come on, pan. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna lift the motor up a little bit. If I can, if it'll let me. Let's see if it'll let me pull this mount out. There we go, no. I'm gonna move this mount over. You can see the vacuum line here. I'm gonna have to move the vacuum line over. Put it in there. All right, to get the new mount in, you're gonna have to lift the motor up, but there's no room right now. So go ahead and loosen the uh, bolts for the motor mounts. It's gonna have to do it anyway to do the 
recommended TSB motor reset thing anyway, so got them loose. And I'm uh, gonna go ahead and just jack up the motor until I can get it in there. All right, cool. Slides right in. Bolt it back up. Fan, everything like that. Hook everything. All right, so yesterday I knocked out this front revised mount. This guy's really expensive, 180 bucks. Supposed to fix the vibration problem. And honestly, started it up, it felt a lot better. All right, and there's the new one down there. But when I was doing that one, I had to loosen this guy up to jack the motor up to get that guy in. That guy is bad. So I went ahead and ordered that. We're gonna replace that today. And that got me looking. I figured I should go check out the rest of the mounts. I looked at the back one and it looked fine, but you had to take the air box out to look at the transmission one. There's three transmission ones. Um, the top one here is broken. All right, so we're gonna replace that one too. And that got me looking at the back one again, right? So the back one, I was sitting there looking at it and it doesn't look like anything's wrong with it. But then I sprayed it with a bunch of brake clean and then you can start seeing that there's a crack right in the back back here it's really hard to see okay and you can kind of see it on the other side but you really couldn't see very good because this bracket was in the way and there's just some 17 millimeter nuts holding it down but you can kind of see some wear like a little bit of crackage now that i sprayed it with brake clean and like it showed up when the brake clean was starting to dry off so i went and got that one too now the other two mounts for the transmission they're underneath and you know they're these little bitty things down here and one of them is right here and that one looks fine and there's one in the back back there which i'm not even going to show you because it looks fine too all right so what i did i just ordered one of these really cheap amazon <laughs> motor mount kits that would next day ship and uh yeah it came like super quick look it comes with another front mount i'll probably use this on someone else's car to see what it does but then we got this is one of the transmission mounts that go underneath the car Transmission mount that goes underneath the car. That rear mount, okay, that goes back there. And this one is just solid rubber. It's not the activated one, you know, the vacuum activated one. Here's the upper transmission mount that goes over there. This one's just rubber too. And then there's this one off to the side. Now this one, they call this one a hydraulic one. So it is jelly filled, but well, it's like 80 bucks. So we'll just throw it on and then uh, see how it works out. This works out kind of good because the TSB says that you need to loosen all the motor mount bolts anyway. It's got the jack underneath the motor to hold the weight. I'm not picking it up. Gonna need to loosen that guy. Take that one out, take that one out, take that one out and have the jack hold this guy steady right here. Everything Honda is a 17 millimeter and these guys, are, also it bolts in like this. So you got three bolts that go back there like that. Big pain in the butt. All right, yeah, I had to loosen this guy up the other day. I started messing with it. It's like really, really, uh, one corner of it, you can kind of feel it. It's like a little, a little chunky or something. All right, so here's the new cheapy. And let me see. Yeah, it doesn't move nearly as much. Yeah, these are shaped different. So they do go a certain way. So people leave reviews that this doesn't fit, it's because it goes a certain way, it's not the same. Oh, I can't put that there. All right, see you later. And one more, the back one. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's in there like this. So I've got 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. And this was the bracket that went over it, and those were 17 millimeter nuts. not to break that heater valve. Mm. All right. All right, check that guy out. Right, how does this go now? Some crap like this. Still looks okay.
Okay, all the mounts are in. None of the bolts are tight. Everything's loose. This is just on here temporarily. Need to go start it up. Put it in drive and reverse a couple times. All right, now we tighten everything up. All right, got her in gear, got the AC on. She's all warmed up, check it out. No vibrations in the steering wheel, man. It feels freaking fantastic. Before we did up hearing some crazy noises over there in the corner. Yeah, the new mounts totally just straighten this guy up as far as the vibrations go at idle. Uh, the new Honda motor mounts definitely, definitely kind of expensive, but uh, it's supposed to be revised and supposed to give her some of the vibrations, which it totally did. Uh, new motor mounts all the way around as far as those cheapo mounts. See how those work out for a little while. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can hit me up down below and do me a favor if the video is helpful, hit the thumbs up. Catch you guys in the next one. You guys take care, be safe, have a great weekend. Later, guys. in the right lane, very close to 200. You can tell he was rolling.